So it's kind of hard to believe, but the sixth anniversary for Global is starting tomorrow, guys. I mean, after all the, the waiting, the anticipation, the hype, it's finally almost here. And it's absolutely crazy to me, but it's real, guys. It's happening, and as such, in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick breakdown or preview of all of the events and banners and basically everything that we can expect to see for specifically part one of the anniversary. And of course, once we get closer to part two and part three, I'll make follow-up videos. But uh, in this video today, we are focusing on part one, which is starting tomorrow and going for approximately 11 or 12 days. So uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun, a lot of content coming your way for sure. And with all that said, let's jump right into it. Now, I guess the first thing I'll do is start by reading this little intro here. So it's called Clash X Unity Transcendental Thanksgiving Dokkan 6th Anniversary Celebration is now on. The 6th anniversary campaign has begun thanks to you. Dokkan Battle is celebrating the 6th anniversary. In celebration of the 6th anniversary, three types of gacha tickets have appeared. Collect gacha tickets with login bonuses and missions. And then we have the Love Saves the Universe co-op campaign and Dual Dokkan Festival are also available. In addition, you can challenge events once a day where you can acquire support uh, memories as well as skill orbs exclusive to the representatives of Universe 7 category. Let's play with Dokkan for the transcendental luxurious 6th anniversary. There you go. Okay, so obviously we are looking at the uh, JP 6th anniversary details and for the most part the global anniversary and celebration should be exactly the same but there might be some minor differences um, if there are things that you know could be different I'll make sure to point them out for you guys okay so there's the intro and now let's jump into the actual campaign details and the first thing we have here are some tickets and as far as I'm aware we should also be getting all three of these tickets on global as well in addition to two other tickets, which are the dual Dokkan Fest tickets. So in total, Global should be getting five different tickets for uh, the celebration, okay? And as far as the rainbow ticket goes, it can be obtained through daily login bonuses as well as special mission rewards, and they can be used for summoning on the dual Dokkan Festival banners for, you know, Vegeta and Goku, as well as the top legendary summon banner in part two. And then we have the 66 unit multi guaranteed LR tickets, and these can be collected throughout the entire celebration from part one to part three. And once we can collect all 66, we can use them on the 66 unit guaranteed LR banner. And uh, I will make a video talking about how to get all of the tickets um, as we go along throughout the celebration, okay? And uh, for the last ticket here, we have the regular sixth anniversary ticket. And this can just be used for the regular 6th anniversary banner. And we will take a quick look at uh, all these banners later on in the video. So from there, we have the 6th anniversary special movie, which will be played uh, upon first login when the anniversary starts. And oh, uh, it looks like the video is no longer available, but that's okay because it's probably better this way. It's much more exciting if you guys watch it for the first time. On your devices you know when you log in so we're just gonna keep that a secret for now moving on there's the login bonus of course and upon first login we'll be getting the uh, free to play ui goku the special free to play anniversary unit for this year as well as 30 dragon stones some 66 special summon tickets only six of them though so not enough for the multi and also the God Dragonstone 13 or the new red Dragonstone. And um, one thing I do want to quickly mention is that you're probably not going to be getting these rewards immediately, like at the regular, you know, login time. So just wait a little bit, maybe an hour or two, and eventually we will all get these login rewards. But I remember last year I was streaming when, you know, part one started and people just kept asking me like, yo, where are my 30 dragon stones? Where are my tickets? Where's my UI Goku? And it just took a while for us to get it. Okay, so keep that in mind. 
and uh, after the first login, we will be getting three Dragon Stones per day for the daily logins, all right? And then we have some special missions, which uh, I won't go into detail about, but of course we get Dragon Stones, we get tickets, we get Kai's, we get the uh, anniversary special coins as well, which can be exchanged in the Baba Shop, and uh, all that good stuff. And then there's going to be a Love Saves the Universe co-op campaign, pretty standard stuff. And uh, this one is just like the other co-op campaigns where we work together as a group, as a community to complete certain milestones like, you know, how many units awakened, how much stamina consumed, how many stages cleared, so on and so forth. And as we clear each of the milestones, each of the missions together, we'll get rewards for that, um, including Dragon Stones, training items, Kai's, medals, all that stuff, right? And uh, yeah, nothing too special about this either, but some nice rewards in there. And then from there, we have the dual Dokkan Fest for LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. And as I've mentioned many, many times in the past, this banner, or these banners rather, are not going to be dropping when the anniversary starts. Okay, so we're not going to be able to summon on these banners tomorrow. We have to wait about two days, roughly. Actually, no, probably exactly two days um, to, you know, get this Dual Dokkan Fest. And that should be happening on the night of the 8th or morning of the 9th, depending on your time zone. It should be 11.30 uh, p.m. Pacific Time on the 8th or 2.30 a.m. Eastern Time on the 9th. Okay, so we got to wait a couple days. But it'll be worth it because these guys are absolute monsters. If you guys want to know what both LRs do as well as the side units, make sure to go check out my video from yesterday where I break down all of the anniversary units. And I'll put a link above my head for that. But uh, yeah, we have the Dual Dokkan Fest. We have the new Dokkan events, of course, for the Goku and Vegeta respectively for their Dokkan Awakening medals. And uh, we have the yeah, 66 Special Summon. So there is the ticket version of the banner which we won't be able to summon on until part three comes around because we can't collect the final ticket until part three. But there's also the Dragonstone banner, which costs 250 stones for a 66 unit multi with a guaranteed LR. And uh, like I said, we'll take a look at the banner in a second. Honestly, I'm still a little bit on the fence about how good in terms of value that banner is for, you know, free to play players, but that's a different topic for a different video. Moving on, we have the, uh, you know, regular 6th anniversary banner, which we'll also take a look at. We have the 6th anniversary coin exchange in the Baba Shop. So we use those anniversary coins to exchange for Kai's, medals, orbs, so on and so forth. And then we also have the Red Dragonstone selection, which, uh, you know, we get the Red Dragonstone, that is, we get for the first login for free. And then we also have the premium or purple Dragonstone selection. And these purple dragon stones are not free to play. You have to buy them as part of stone packs in the you know dragon stone shop. And just like before, you'll be able to use these purple dragon stones to exchange for uh, 120 leads for some Dokkan Fest uh, category leads, as well as LRs, depending on how many stones you have. So it's going to be three stones for an LR, two for a category lead, and one for a 120 lead. And obviously there will be Dragonstone sales. I do need to do a little bit more research about exactly what kind of sales we can expect this year. But uh, that's probably going to be a separate video coming either later today or tomorrow. So look forward to that. And uh, there's an SNS campaign thing. Now obviously this is not something that we typically get on Global. But instead we get our Facebook campaigns, our social media campaigns. So we will be getting something to replace this for some free stones. And then there's your standard um, Elder Kai banner. And we're also gonna be getting a couple of new events, obviously. The first one is a new story event called The Power of Trust, The Miracle of Universe 7, where we can farm the uh, 18 and Krillin, as well as Tien and Roshi. And then the other one is Master Roshi's new challenge, where we can get the Fizz Roshi that eventually awakens into LR Master Roshi. And then there's also going to be a new Majin Buu's Shape Up training event for some skill orbs, specifically for reps of Universe 7 units. And uh, this is a big one. We got the Epic Transcendent Gods of Destruction Assemble event where we face off against 
all of the gods of destruction and it is one of the hardest events in the game for sure um, I'm not sure if it's necessarily harder than extreme super battle road but definitely a great challenge for uh, the end game players out there and there's also going to be a new stage of boss rush for some quick stones and uh, aside from that these aren't new events but extreme super battle road is going to be open daily super battle road open daily um, extreme z battles are all open so if you guys had missed any in the past this is your opportunity to you know get those EZAs done and then we also have the hidden potential events uh, open on the weekends we have a new special edition sixth anniversary edition of virtual dokkan ultimate clash and uh, lastly there's this ichiban kuji collaboration which we won't be getting on global but we will most likely be getting something on social media to take its place okay so uh, that pretty much sums up the part one events and the part one banners now We're definitely not finished yet because I want to take a closer look at these events for you guys So let's pop over to the actual event pages here starting with the uh, Miracle of universe 7 and uh, as I said on this event we can farm the Tian and Roshi as well as the Krillin and 18 the increased drop category is the representatives of universe 7 and this event just like for previous anniversaries will be released in segments or parts right so for part one of the anniversary we're actually only going to be getting levels one to four of the event and that means while we can farm krillin and 18 and tian and roshi we won't be able to dok and awaken them until part two comes around and we get the remaining levels five to ten so that's kind of unfortunate. We do have to play the waiting game a little bit, but it's just always been that way for anniversaries. So there's not much we can do about it, but uh, that's our first story event. And moving on to the Roshi event here, um, just like, you know, the previous story event, we're getting it in two parts. So levels one to three will be available for part one and levels four to six are available for part two. The increased drop category is Bond of Master and Disciple, and uh, we'll be able to get the Roshi as well as his Dokken Awakening Medals to TUR on levels two and three respectively, but we can't get his LR Awakening Medals on level six until part two starts. And then for part three is when we get the Extreme Z area to Extreme Z Awaken the LR. And uh, after that, we have the um, it Boo event, what's the name again? Majin Boo's Shape Up Training. And it's essentially the Whis event from last year, except that you only get representatives of Universe 7 category exclusive skill orbs. And uh, it's a once a day event, just like the Whis event. And every once in a while, you'll get the Hercule boss instead of the Fit Boo boss, which guarantees you either a silver or gold skill orb. And there's not much else to really talk about here there are a few missions which uh, will give us another copy of the free-to-play strui goku and the next event we have here is the gathering of the gods of destruction event and i don't want to get into too much detail in this video i think i will be doing separate guides probably for each of the bosses or at least like a separate video for each of the bosses but um we're getting 12 levels in total, but we're only getting four per part. So parts or stages one to four are coming out for part one and then stages five to eight for part two and then nine to 12 for part three. And the first four bosses we're facing in part one are level one, Ewan, God of Destruction of Universe One, level two, Hellas, God of Destruction of Universe Two, uh, level three, Moscow, God of Destruction of Universe Three, and level four, Quintella, God of Destruction of Universe 4. And as I've been told, these stages are very hard, but doable, definitely doable. It just um, takes a, I guess, somewhat experienced player with a pretty good box, you know, pretty good teams to get it done. And uh, when you clear each stage, you get one stone for the clear and also five stones for uh, missions. So in total, we should be getting 24 stones for this event in part one if you guys are able to beat all four of the bosses and one cool thing about the uh, Hellas boss here is that she changes types 
every single turn. So I guess she cycles through the five types in the game, which is very unique. I don't think we've ever had a boss. No, we've definitely never had a boss in this game that does that. So kind of a cool new mechanic. And uh, yeah, good luck to you guys on attempting to clear these bosses, clear these stages. Look out for my videos coming up or maybe just on the initial stream. We'll go through these, see how it goes. And uh, yeah, should be a good time. Now, from there, we have the new boss rush. And uh, this one is level 12. And just like the last one, there are five different token events we go through to clear it. The first one is for the Fizz transforming Vegeta. The second one is Int LR Cells Dokkan event. And then there's the Int Future Gohan Dokkan event, STR Cooler Dokkan event. And finally, we're ending with the AGL Fusion Android 13 Dokkan event. And once you clear this, it shouldn't be too hard for, mm, I don't wanna say most people, but a lot of people should be okay with this event. Boss rushes typically are not too bad of a challenge then uh, you'll be getting your 35 stones, which is always nice. And uh, that is Boss Rush Stage 12. And from there, we have the new Special Edition Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash, and the bosses this time are different. I mean, the final boss is Jiren, which is kind of a throwback. But uh, for level one, we have the Universe 2 girls, uh, Kakunsa, Rosie, and Ribrienne. And then for level two, we have the Universe 6 girls, uh, Super Saiyan Khalifla, Super Saiyan Kale, as well as a transforming Kefla for the boss with three stages from base to Super Saiyan to Super Saiyan 2. And then for level 3, we have the Universe 11 boys, uh, you know, Topo, uh, Dispo, as well as a transforming or multi stage Jiren. And uh, that's pretty much it, you know, aside from that, nothing too different compared to your regular. Uh, ultimate clashes. I have heard that this one is a little bit harder than the standard ultimate clash, but hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully most people can get through it with no issues. And uh, of course I will be doing this live as well um, in the coming days. And is there anything else here? Oh, we have banners. Okay, so I want to do a separate video going, you know, kind of in depth on each of these and give you guys some more analysis, but for now, for the purpose of this video, I'll just quickly show you guys the featured units on each banner so you guys have an idea of what they look like. Alright, so right now this is the AGL LR Ultra Instinct Goku banner. And some highlights we have, of course, are the Goku himself. The side unit is the Gohan and Piccolo. And of course, this guy is still one of the best units in the game, the LR Boot Tanks. And the rest of the banner is solid. We got, you know, this guy right here. We got this guy right here. Still very good. And uh, yeah, solid banner overall, I would say. Now, moving on to the SSB Vegeta banner. Um, this one is not quite as good, in my opinion. It hasn't aged the best. I mean, we got Vegeta himself, who's amazing. We have the Frieza and Gohan. Uh, Kefla is still good. He is still, you know, quite good. Vegeta gets a lot of unnecessary hate, in my opinion. I mean, he's not nearly as bad as people make him out to be. Um, hit? Uh, I mean, the question really is, was this guy ever good? Maybe initially at launch, but he did not age well at all, right? And uh, this guy's really old, this guy's really old, even though they're not terrible units. Um, but yeah, that's the Vegeta banner. And then we have the regular 6th anniversary ticket banner. And there are actually quite a few really good featured units. None of them are Dokkan Fest exclusives, no LRs. But uh, a lot of them are very, very useful. You know, like the Topo is great, she's great, Krillin's good, Whis is great. Um, you know, Kellen Khalifla, he's solid too. Like, you know, just a lot of good, solid units. And then in the unfeatured pool, we also have a bunch of LRs. I think everyone up until UI Goku is present. I believe UI Goku might be the newest unit on the banner. Um, these guys getting an easy A soon, so that would be an amazing pull. But uh, yeah, that's the 6th anniversary banner. And finally, we have the 66 unit guaranteed LR banner. Both the stone version and the ticket version are identical in terms of featured units. So 
yeah there's the featured pool um you know we got some good units in there and then we have the unfeatured pool which is where we get the lrs and i believe everyone up until lr turles should be present on this banner so definitely uh, a lot of potential to pull some really really good units but at the same time you could end up with you know a mighty mask or something that's like not nearly as hype right so there's definitely some risk involved in doing this multi i mean if you're using stones that is if you're using tickets it's a free lr so either way you can't really lose i guess but anyways guys there you go that is your part one anniversary preview um let me know in the comments down below which of these events which of these banners you're most excited for and uh you know once we get closer to part two and part three i will make follow-up you know previews but for now that's really all there is to talk about and man i can't believe it's happening so soon literally tomorrow in just over 24 hours the anniversary will be here I'll see you guys there. You can trust that I'll be streaming as soon as the anniversary starts, so make sure you guys are free. And uh, we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good time. So there you go, guys. Part 1 preview done. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.